Hello, Facebook. Welcome to the studio of City FM 89. I'm Wes. And um, like the title says, I found somebody visiting from Spain. Let me introduce to you Rafael Serellet, who's going to be on the show today. And I want you to welcome him. And we'll keep the live feed going, but the camera won't be on me, which is a good thing, which is a very good thing. It's going to be on Rafael. So we'll have uh, the comments set up and I'll give him uh, my iPad. So if you have any questions for him, he's a classical guitarist. He's visiting Pakistan for about a day or so. And he's going to come on live on City FM 89 in about five, six minutes. So, uh, you know, give him a hearty welcome. Ask him as many questions as you can. Uh, Rafael, say hello to our Facebook viewers. Hello, Facebook. How are you? All right, so uh, we'll read out your comments as they come in and uh, listen to his beautiful guitar playing in the meantime. You must know thousands of pieces of music, thousands of songs, right? <coughs> I wouldn't say thousands, hundreds, but yes, I mean, anyway, I sometimes I need a score. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you use sheet music? Say again? Do you use sheet music? Yes, always. Yeah, always? Most of the, I mean, always, to learn most of the time. So. Yeah. Because I saw you perform on YouTube. Uh, normally, when I play, when I perform, normally I don't. Yeah. But for instance, this concert I will. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the concert is happening tonight. It's happening tonight at, at seven thirty. At the uh, Embassy of Spain. No, in uh, the Marriott. 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 At the Hotel. Marriott. Yeah. Yeah. This it should be a fun uh, thing. Uh, I, I bet there's going to be a lot of people there. Farhan. Farham, Asif, Muhammad. I am not bored. What do you say? I am not bored, Muhammad. I'm just focused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, he's ready to give out some voice. <laughs> I cannot, an Abba song, I'm afraid that I cannot play an Abba song. <laughs> Hi, Farhan, how are you? Do we have some nice uh, comments? Hola de Pakistan. Spain artists, welcome on board from RG. You say assalamu alaikum, just as hello. Yes, yes, we do. It means peace be upon you. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, because it's Arabic actually. Yes, it is. And you've been to a lot of Arabic countries, so. Uh, yes. So they I, say I used to work in Palestine and in Morocco. I used to go a lot to those countries. What did you do there? Teaching in oh. conservatories. Yes. Guitar. Uh, actually, also a thing. Basically, guitar, but I also uh, taught um, chamber music. We had we made a small. Uh, um, music uh, yeah. groups yeah, yeah, we yeah. always classical music but uh, really? very very sometimes with the, the fusion with the crossover with, yeah. with, with the local musicians and the arabic and so you played with them their yes, instruments are very interesting in arabia uh, and they they you know they have a lot of string instruments there but they're different yes well they, sometimes they use the same instrument but they yeah. use a different technique yeah they have yeah. a different technique even they some of them play like that the normal violin like they yeah. Bob. yeah yeah but they they, they play normal violins like this yeah i wanted to ask you if you uh uh if you played with uh uh pakistani uh, musicians well yesterday we have a small introduction and i expected to have it today as a surprise in the yeah. show with a tabla musician but he couldn't do it oh okay Too bad. yeah it has been very interesting Okay, we have a question. What is your favorite food in Pakistan? Samosa. Ah, all right. <laughs> I just had I just had an amazing and amazing samosas that. Yeah. All right, we go on air in ten seconds. That is Yogadi with Juice on the Rush Hour on City FM eighty nine. We do this very rarely, and uh, very few opportunities come where uh, you know, a very uh, important, very special musician can visit us here in Pakistan. And whenever that opportunity arises, I have to jump on it and I have to introduce you to these awesome musicians from around the world. You've heard them before, but this is the first time that we've had Mr. Rafael Serayet here in the studios from Spain. He arrived today, yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, you're leaving tonight, but you've got a concert tonight at the Marriott. And uh, first of all, welcome to City FM 89 and welcome to Pakistan, Rafael. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You, you picked up uh, uh, some words here because you've been traveling the Middle East uh, for the last couple of years. And uh, what brings you to Pakistan today? Well, um, that's the Spanish embassy fall yeah. that yeah. invited me to <laughs> we're two weeks ago. We're, we're thankful to Fernando at the uh, Spanish embassy for bringing you here. Yeah. And it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, meet you. 
and uh, you are a classical guitarist, and you have been playing forever, right? Yeah, as long as I remember, I've been surrounded by music. Yeah. Um, I started to play when I was 12 years old in the school, uh -huh. um, but uh, I've been always very musical and surrounded by, by in choir, singing, mm -hmm. and yeah, music is my life. Um, it's like I did not choose music, music chose me. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. You've also been teaching as well, uh, yeah. and that too, not only in Spain, but uh, around the world. Yes. Um, I've been working, I mean, traditional teaching in normal master classes yeah. to classical guitarists around the world, yeah. in universities and conservatories around the world. Yeah. But uh, I have also been working in cooperation projects, uh, musical cooperation projects mm -hmm. in countries such as Morocco, Palestine, South America. Mm -hmm. And it is a great experience because uh, you share not only, I mean, it's not only music, it's much more than music, it's hope, mm. it's, um, it's another way of living, it's another way of seeing life, and sometimes in some of the countries with very difficult situation. Yeah. Um, and they, and through music, we, we could bring a bit of happiness and a bit of, of, of nice things to these people. This is not the first time you're, you, you came to Pakistan, have you? No, I came last year. Yeah. I came last year. I also was very quick trip, yeah. only, yeah. Small and, trip? Like, two days, uh, in two days I had to, yeah. because I, I, I was coming from Malaysia at that time, and then I had to go to Spain, so it was yeah. also very quick. Uh -huh. But uh, well, I hope if there is a next a third time, and uh -huh. I can have a bit more of time to enjoy the country to to explore about, around. We have a lot of questions for you, and uh, Facebook Live has a lot of questions for you. Uh, one question I really like that you just answered off air. What's your favorite Pakistani food? Samosa. Yeah, <laughs> which you just had a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna get some tea and uh, you know some some other Pakistani goodies in you in just a second. And I, you brought your guitar too. Yes. And uh, you're ready to play, but uh, let's get to some music here, and then when we come back, I was hoping you could uh, introduce your uh, style of music and some classical guitar to our audience. Okay, sure. All right. Here's uh, Jennifer Lopez. Okay, Gulzeb says, can you play some Spanish music on your guitar? Yes, I will, definitely. I'm okay. going to. Okay. Salam, nice sound. So, assalamu alaikum. Nice sound from handsome guitarist. Oh. <laughs> <That's a hell. laughs> okay. Do you, do, you, uh, do you like football? I love football. Yeah? Yes. Who, what's your favorite team? Uh, um, Barca. But, okay, all right. Because we have... Somebody says I want to listen to the tune of the theme soccer World Cup in Spanish. Ole, ole, ole! All right, all right. Oh, this is in Spanish. Bienvenidos a Pakistan, hermano. He aprendiendo español, pero no tengo nadie para hablar. What does that mean? Uh, that he, welcome to Pakistan, and he's learning Spanish. Oh, he she's learning Spanish, but he doesn't have anyone to talk to. But oh, this is Vakar Anwar. So can you say something in Spanish to him, please? Claro. Eh, muchas gracias por tus palabras. Eh, ¿Puedes hablar conmigo? All right. Okay. All right. Malik uh, Babar Shaheen says, Welcome to Pakistan, the land of hospitality. Ozer says, Samosas! <laughs> okay. Uh, good to see artists coming from Pakistan from different countries. Welcome to Pakistan. Uh, welcome to Pakistan. Do you... Okay, someone asks... Uh, always keep pan for good notes. Do you know what pan is? No. Okay. Pan is a s sweet in a pan leaf, a betel nut, betel nut leaf. Uh -huh. And they put uh, betel nuts, and it's a green leaf. And they put. Um, oh yes, yes, they, yes, they, yes, they yes, put yes. little things. I try. I try and it's a little try triangle, last year. and yes, you put yes, it in yes, your yes. mouth. Yes, I tried last year. Yeah. Tried last year. You yes. tried it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. So um, it's very famous that singers and musicians, they eat pan in Pakistan. It's very famous with music. There's two comments. Please read them. <laughs> glasses. I don't, I don't get used to them. I You're don't. a young guy. Why do you need glasses? So where do you live in Spain? I live in Valencia. Valencia. Yeah. What kind of a city is Valencia? Is it a modern city? A it's old a city? Well, oh, every city in Spain is very old. <laughs> very old? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I live I live over the Roman ruins of the circus. Wow! So the under circus my, Maximus. Under, yeah, well, the okay, circus the of circus. Valencia. 
okay. that under my feet there are thousands of years of, of, of history. That's incredible. And I one of the walls of my house is from the 1700s. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, did you move there or was your family I living just, there for a long no, time? No, 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 I, I just moved there. You moved there. Okay, that is excellent. I've been living in Malaysia for a few years. Yeah. Well, between Malaysia, Spain and the rest of the world. Okay. And, and currently you're in Spain? Say again? Currently, right now, you're in and Spain. Yes, you, because uh, we just have a we just had a baby. So oh, congratulations! Yeah, your daddy so, now. First time? No. Second time? Third, Third time? time. <laughs> Third. And, uh, do they play the guitar as well? None of them wanted to play the guitar. Well, that's not true. One of my wife's son plays the guitar, but the electric guitar. Okay, so he's like a rocker. Um, but my, my my children make music, but not with the guitar. Okay. One plays the percussion, and the other plays the guitar, the harp. Was music a part of your family, like your parents or your? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's uh, that's an interesting thing. Yeah, I mean they are not musicians. Okay. Um, and they were okay with you becoming a musician. They were happy. They did not understand. Really? No. Yeah. Um, they didn't think that I could make a living as a musician, and they didn't think that I would achieve it. That I would get. That they thought it could be too late to yeah. become a professional musician because yeah. every my brother was singing okay. in a choir since was he was very little. He okay. was picked. Okay. In uh, almost professional choir, so he got a scholarship and he was uh, in this uh, choir. Uh -huh. And they thought that I couldn't do it because it's your brother hard. can, but you cannot. Yeah. And I said, but I want, and my brother doesn't. <laughs> okay. And so. yeah, so um, yeah, it's a bit difficult for them because they they come from a very humble background yeah. and they didn't know much about classical music. Even in Valencia, it's a very musical place. Really. Yes, it's one probably one of the most musical places in in the world. In, I would in, say in Europe or in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Uh, I was uh, I was teaching in a conservatory in a city called Giria, okay. uh, which is thirty kilometers from Valencia, mm -hmm. and the percentage of population that is that knows how to read music and how to play an instrument is one to three. I mean, wow. Yes, it's thirty three percent of the population. Thirty three percent of the population is able to read music, read and music, play an instrument. write music, and play music. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, it is yeah. incredible. And uh, is is the guitar big in Spain or, uh, uh, or yes, all it instruments? Yes, yeah, yes, it is. But I would say that we are having uh, it should be easier for yeah. the guitarists than yeah. to to make a living in Spain, and it's very difficult. Okay. It is not as easy as it used to be because there's so many guitars. There are so many. There are so many that are very good, but there are not that much opportunities anymore. The the, the concert the concert halls do not program classical guitar. As I guess they should. Okay. Okay, we go on air in five seconds. Uh, seconds. Do I start playing? Uh, no, we talk and then play. Okay. 522 on the Rush Hour. Welcome back to City FM 89. My very special guest is Rafael Serayet, who's a classical guitarist. He's here from Spain. He lives in Valencia. We had an interesting conversation, which is up on Facebook Live if you'd like to watch uh, him play or listen to him play. And we've been talking about, we've been talking to uh, our audience as well, and they've got some great questions. And we, we went through your whole life history during the break. Yeah, I kind of, yes. <laughs> so, uh, you live in Valencia. Yes. What kind of a town is Valencia? Well, Valencia, it was Roman founded 2,000 years ago, wow. as many other cities in Spain. And um, for 2,000 years, many different people have been mm -hmm. coming in and out. Yeah. And so we have uh, Roman inheritance, and mm -hmm. of course, we have the influence of many other uh -huh. people. Is it, do, is it a, a place where music thrives? Valencia region is probably the most musical place, I would say, in the world. Really? <laughs> well, uh, definitely in Spain, uh -huh. yes. Uh, for instance, I was, I was teaching as a... Um, guitar teacher uh -huh. in in a conservatory near Valencia in a, okay. in a city called Giria which actually is older than Valencia really? because yes because the Iberian founder okay so the founders of the city were Iberians the okay. people who stayed there mm -hmm. and before the Roman arrived uh -huh. and and in this city one every three people I mean 33 percent of the population is able to read music and play an instrument incredible yes it is yes it is <laughs> and there are, and there is another village in Spain, in Valencia, that has this percentage is Buñol, mm -hmm. and but um, yeah, it is it is such a 
in a way, it's such a honor to, to, to be surrounded by musicians. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, it makes it very difficult for the professional musicians because the competition is very big. There's so many of them. Yeah, there are so many of them, yes. Right, okay. So um, you brought your guitar. We would love to hear you play something. Uh, and I know you've, uh, you're going to play an excerpt. What are you going to play an excerpt of? Uh, it's a piece called uh, Capriccio Arabe. Uh, I translate it as Arabian Caprice or Whim. Okay. and by the Spanish composer Francisco Carrera. Incredible. Thank you so much for that. That is a wonderful uh, piece, uh, Arabian Whim. I, I can't pronounce it in Spanish the way you can. It's, it's got a, such a gorgeous name. How, uh, what uh, pieces do you bring out? What, what pieces of music do you kind of like to play? Well, um, I like to play all sorts of music. Actually, the concert tonight, and very often, I play music that go from the Renaissance to the contemporary music. Mm -hmm. So centuries, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And, go, and so on. Uh -huh. And um, tonight I'm making a musical journey that I started even before. I play a medieval song okay. arranged for the classical guitar by the Narciso Yepes, the, the amazing Spanish guitarist. Mm -hmm. um, and I finish in, with music of the 20th century. Um, and I go from, from all the ages, different ages, the Romanticism, the Classicism, the Renaissance, the Baroque. And so I, I play a bit of everything, but everything that I play tonight, it will be Spanish music. That's the only thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, very interesting. Okay, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll have more with Rafael Serayat. That was beautiful. That was really nice. I was mesmerized. Excellent. Here's a stupid question for you. Tell me. We are still on live, right? Yeah, yeah, we're still live. No. Uh, do you play the song Spanish Caravan? I uh, don't even know it. Uh, yeah, it was written in the uh, 1890s. 1890s, yeah, because it's yeah. a very uh, popular crossover from classical classical to pop because it became famous in the 60s and 70s in well, this uh, is, American pop this culture. This is a re-adaptation, a re-adaptation, yeah. yeah. It's an adaptation of the music. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can play that next. Oh, no, no, I'm not asking you to play no, no, it. No, I, I can, I can. Yeah? You know why I'm asking? The younger audience uh, your version is much better. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> uh, it's it's <laughs> much nicer. <laughs> Hablas muy bien inglés, uh, Rafael. 
married to an English girl. <laughs> very melodious. Uh, Capriccio Arabi. Okay. Uh, very nice. Very good. Uh, Lukman asks, Mr. Rafael, is there a way that we can follow you on social media? Is there a way we can see you on Facebook or uh, somewhere? Yes, yes. And I'm just type my name. Okay. And you find me. All right. Yes. We'll share the link as well, guys. Uh, Rafael Serayat is the name I've popped it in into the Facebook video, so you can find it. Plus, he has uh, his own YouTube uh, channel. And uh, Rafael, you can check out all his uh, beautiful work, his interviews. Uh, his world travels in uh, Qatar, in Palestine, in Malaysia, everywhere. And he's set up videos for you so you can watch those as well. When somebody says lovely. Really nice. Very melodious. Uh, heart. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, minus three. <laughs> <laughs> when is your next trip going to be to Pakistan? Um, it's up to you guys. It's not up to me. <laughs> so you have to as call soon you as back. possible. As, as soon as, as possible, possible. I'd love to. Yeah. What would be really cool if you could get that chance to play with, uh, uh, you know, uh, Pakistani artists? Yeah, definitely is on yeah. Yeah. my to-do list. Yeah. On my to-do list mm -hmm. and making some crossover music will be absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. I have a question for you. Because you're a teacher, uh, when you go to uh, different countries, do you hold like... Uh, couple of hour workshops or a little like just uh... yes we did so actually we did something yesterday and we were with a, an association called Musikar probably you know it I know Musikar in Pakistan yeah. yeah and and we we had a, a little lecture a short yeah. like one hour lecture yes. about guitar history okay and we we also uh, donated a, a flute Oh really? Yeah. Oh, uh, so kind. thanks to the Spanish embassy that brought me here and the Spanish company Consolar yeah. de Mar, yeah. the, we could bring a, a, a flute okay. for this association. So some Pakistani students can use it and, okay. and can learn okay. and improve the music. Okay, very and, nice. and we made a very interesting uh, one hour lecture about guitar history. But just mm. uh, normally, I mm. normally mm. Uh, teach uh, master classes, workshops mm. and also of, uh, For our Facebook viewers, if you were to give the history of the guitar in two minutes, like where did it come from and how did it get to Spain and Europe? Okay, uh, two minutes. The first very guitar probably is 4,500 years ago. Whoa! And it is found in in the in in the Anatolia in, okay. in Turkey. Turkey, okay. Yeah, and this is the very first reproduction of an instrument that we find in a in a beautiful curving. Okay. And and from there it spread all over the world okay. in all directions, and it went to the Western world through Greece and also to the Arabic world. Yeah. So the the plucked necked instrument, which is an instrument with the strings on the neck. Okay. Because also developed. Uh, the, the the first very uh, chordophone it was the a harp okay but uh, the neck instrument which it means is a, a neck with where you can shorten the the, the strings yeah. by by with your fingers by yeah. the frets yeah. uh, and develop in different ways okay and and arrived to Spain probably before the Arabic came in in the year 711. Okay. But the influence of the Arabic when they came yeah. with the oud, bringing the oud, okay. was very big. Okay. And there are actually pictures or drawings of oud, of oud players and Christian players mm. playing the same kind of instruments. And I'm sure that it was a, a, a crossover. And right. Right. then they learned from each other. Wow. And and the guitar developed in different ways. and we. We could say that the guitar as we know it today started, or the modern guitar started, or the classical guitar yeah. started in the 16th uh, century, in the okay. 1500s. Yeah. And the modern guitar started by um, because of Antonio de Torres, who was a carpenter, a carpenter that it happened to make guitars okay. by chance, started to make guitars. And he developed the way of the modern guitar, he got the dimensions as we know the instrument today. So he developed the dimensions. Yeah, as Antonio. we know them. Yes, yes. As we know that the guitar we know today, the, the, the shape of a guitar that we all have in mind is because of Antonio de Torres, a Spanish wow, guitar I never, maker. I never knew that. Yeah. That's and awesome. at the end of the 18th century, yes. You're like a Wikipedia the of the guitar. 
Uh, not really, but of course. I mean, okay. yes, yes, I know a little bit. Well, thank you for that two-minute introduction. I think our Facebook viewers will like that. And uh, that is really awesome. That's very good. Okay, so we have uh, one more minute to go. And then we'll take you on here. Would you like to play something or just talk? I can play a bit of the uh, Leyenda that uh, Asturias that you were saying. If you like? Sure. Yes, yeah, I, I really like that. I think our audience will like that too. And uh, we'll talk. You can play. And then we'll talk. Okay. And we'll say goodbye so you can okay. get to your concert. <laughs> you don't get nervous before concerts, do you? Yes, I do. And you didn't know how nervous I was while playing. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. I can't tell. I can't tell. Yes, I, but it is a good thing. It is yeah? a good thing. Uh, yes, of course. It makes you do better, right? Yes. I mean, you get the adrenaline you need to, yeah. to do it better if you are able to control it. Actually, this is something very interesting to share that we should not be scared of being nervous, yeah. uh, even if you are. Yeah. But if you are able to control that, that uh, yeah, nervousness? fear, yeah. Yes, uh, you will play much better. Yeah. And if it's a bad thing, if you don't feel it because you're too confident, so normally it's a bit cold and you yeah. don't get that. that yeah. 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 I have another question for you. Where's your favorite? Like, I, you like when I saw on the videos, there's really beautiful theaters that you play in. Yeah. Beautiful, like very old places. Where's Where's the favorite place that you played? Uh, I have. I will tell you two for two different reasons. One is Carnegie Hall, because what it means, Carnegie Hall is, is the, the okay. cathedral of, okay. of the musicians. And Let me ask you that question on air. Okay. Sure. Let me ask you on air. 537, welcome back to the Rush Hour on City FM 89. My very, very special musical guest, Rafael Serayat, is here with us. And I wanted to ask him, he's got very little time. And first of all, thank you so much for taking out the time to come to Pakistan and to visit us here in the studio. We're really honored that you're here. Um, you've played all over the world. There's too many countries to even list in the next one minute or so. you played really all around the world. And when I looked at your YouTube channel, um, you played at these gorgeous venues, these really historical places. And I wanted to ask you what your favorite place to play was. Well, I will tell you a couple of them, even if there are many places that I have beautiful memories. But of course, one of them is Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall is the cathedral of music and is one of the most important places where you consecrate as a musician. And, mm. and this is one of them. And the other is a beautiful, a beautiful venue. Mm. It is the Petronas the, right. in Kuala Lumpur, which is actually in the Petronas Towers. Towers. It's in the in the basement or in the in the right. first in the ground floor of the Petronas Towers. It's a beautiful venue okay. where I performed there a few years ago with the Malaysian Philharmonic, a beautiful concert. And I love this place because uh, I live in Kuala Lumpur and, and I love the city. The the venue is beautiful. And because after that concert, one of my concerts, I asked my wife to get married to me. Oh so, wow! So that's that yeah. that venue brings so many nice memories. Did you ask in public no. or privately? Privately. Okay. She had, to, she had to say no. <laughs> no, no, I asked in the, in the dressing room. Yes. That's a After the concert. That's a wonderful concert. story. That's a wonderful story. So, uh, you're getting ready for uh, your concert tonight. Are you nervous? Yes, I am. Uh, well, I've been and I'll be because I have to play here yeah. and you yes. always get nervous yeah and and I will be after the concert but luckily it takes just a few seconds once you start to warm up you you yeah. before the first song is finished you 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 are okay. You're okay but it's okay that you you have that feeling it's a good it's a it's a good thing because if you're able to control the mm -hmm. the the fear yeah and that adrenaline extra adrenaline that you have it, it helps Does it you help too. it helps you it helps you yes it definitely does yeah oh, fantastic what are you going to play next for us? I'll play an excerpt again of uh, Asturias. Asturias. Um, a very well-known melody that uh, you suggested me. You played me before with another okay. modern in the crossover, with yeah. another name with the yes. crossover. It was called Spanish Caravan, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Raphael. That was excellent. That's a, that's a powerful piece. Uh, it yes, evokes it a lot yes, of uh, emotions. Well, thank you so much for coming to Pakistan. Thank you so much for visiting us at the studios. We wish you the best of luck with uh, tonight's concert at the Marriott. And uh, we'd like to thank the Spanish Embassy for uh, bringing you here. Yes, I, I'd like to make uh, my, to say thank you to Fernando Heredia and to the Spanish Embassy for bringing me here. And I, I'm very honored. I'm, 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 it's a big responsibility because actually I'm representing the Spanish culture, yeah. the Spanish music, and, and it's a big responsibility, and, but also it's an honor to represent Spain and the Spanish music and culture. We hope you have a great experience here. I'm sure I will. And you take away some nice memories back to Spain and tell people about Pakistan. And I'm looking forward, and we're all, especially on the, the people on Facebook, are going to be looking forward to your next trip here so you can have more workshops like you did with Musikar here and meet more musicians and possibly, like we mentioned off air, do a, do a crossover, cross-cultural... It, uh, it will be lovely. It will be yeah. a very nice experience. And I'm looking forward for my next visit. Mm -hmm. I hope with more time to enjoy the country, to enjoy the people, to enjoy the food. <laughs> and, of course, the, the Pakistani music. So, um, thank you very much, Wes, for inviting me, you're for welcome. being here with me. It's lovely being in, in the program, you're, in your program. You're very Congratulations welcome. and yeah. hello and bye to all the Pakistani friends that are here listening the radio watching me on Facebook yeah and yeah. I'm see you soon yeah all right thank you very much uh, we'll play a little cold play for you and get into an ad break we'll be back with the rush hour thank you Facebook uh, muchas gracias bienvenido uh, bienvenido a Pakistan dude can you play some Santana oye como va uh, American watching a Spanish guitar player artist on a Pakistani radio show that is done in English. We have American viewers. Oh, great. Hello, yeah. American. Uh, Irfan Sheikh says, how great is this? Uh, <laughs> we have some funny questions, too. Please ask him to sing Despacito. Have you heard Despacito? Of no. course. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, one last question. Have you tried biryani? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, not properly. Okay. Not properly. So you must try biryani tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pakistani paella. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very Rafael. much. Can we take a peek?